Thomas Jonathan Ossoff is an American politician serving as the senior United States Senator from Georgia since 2021. A member of the Democratic Party. Ossoff was previously a documentary film producer and investigative journalist. Ossoff was the Democratic nominee in the 2017 special election for Georgia's 6th Congressional District, which had long been considered a Republican stronghold. He lost the race to Karen Handel. In mid-2020, Ossoff won the Democratic Party nomination for the 2020 U.S. Senate election in Georgia to run against then-incumbent Republican Senator David Perdue. Neither candidate reached the 50% threshold on the November 3rd general election, triggering a runoff election on January 5, 2021, which Ossoff won. Ossoff serves alongside fellow Democrat Raphael Warnock who defeated incumbent Republican Kelly Loeffler in the 2020 Senate special election runoff. Also on January 5, 2021, the two races attracted significant national attention and spending, as they decided which party would control the Senate in the 117th Congress. With Warnock's and Ossoff's victories, Democrats and Republicans each hold 50 Senate seats. But Vice President Kamala Harris's tie-breaking vote gives Democrats an effective majority. With his victory, Ossoff became the youngest member of the Senate elected since Don Nichols in 1980 as well as the first Jewish member of the Senate from Georgia and the first Jewish senator from the Deep South since Benjamin F. Jonas of Louisiana, who was elected in 1879. Thomas Jonathan Ossoff was born on February 16, 1987, in Atlanta, Georgia. He was raised in North Lake, an unincorporated community. Ossoff's mother, Heather Fenton, was born and raised in Sydney, New South Wales, and moved to the U.S. at the age of 23. She co-founded New Power Pack, an organization that works to elect women to local office across Georgia. His father, Richard Ossoff, who is of Russian Jewish and Lithuanian Jewish descent, owns Stratford Publications, a specialist publishing company. Ossoff was raised Jewish. His ancestors fled pogroms in the early 20th century, and he noted in an interview that he grew up among Holocaust survivors, and his understanding of history instilled in him a conviction to fight for the marginalized and be wary of authoritarianism. He previously held Australian citizenship through his mother. He attended the Padilla School, an independent school in Atlanta, while in high school. He interned for civil rights leader and U.S. Representative John Lewis. In 2009, Ossoff graduated from Georgetown University School of Foreign Service with a Bachelor of Science degree. He attended classes taught by former U.S. Secretary of State Madeleine Albright and former Israeli Ambassador to the United States Michael Oren. He earned a Master of Science degree in International Political Economy from the London School of Economics in 2013, after receiving a recommendation from John Lewis, Ossoff worked as a national security staffer and legislative assistant for foreign affairs and defense policy for U.S. Representative Hank Johnson from 2007 to 2012. From 2013 to 2021, Ossoff was the managing director and chief executive officer of Insight TWI a London-based investigative television production company that works with reporters to create documentaries about corruption in foreign countries. The firm produced BBC investigations about ISIS war crimes and death squads in East Africa. Ossoff was involved in producing a documentary about the staging of a play in Sierra Leone. After learning that Republican Tom Price of Georgia's 6th Congressional District had been appointed, Secretary of Health and Human Services, Ossoff announced his candidacy for the special election on January 5, 2017. Ossoff quickly emerged as the most viable Democratic candidate out of a large field of candidates. He was endorsed by Congressman Hank Johnson and John Lewis, and State House Democratic leader Stacey Abrams. He also received public support from U.S. Senator and Democratic presidential candidate Bernie Sanders. Ossoff raised over $8.3 million by early April of that year. According to the Atlanta Journal-Constitution, Ossoff transformed what was expected to be a quiet battle for a long safe Republican seat into a 
proxy fight over Trump, the healthcare overhaul and the partisan struggle for suburbia. When he entered the race, the Cook Partisan Voting Index rated Georgia's 6th congressional district at R plus 1-4. The district was not considered competitive and had been represented in Congress by Republicans since 1978. Less than two months before Ossoff's announcement, Price had been re-elected in a landslide. With 62% of the vote, Ossoff grew up in what is now the 6th district, where his family still resides. Although as of the election he lived about 1.5 miles outside the district's boundaries in Thay. Neighboring 4th district, he said he only lived in the 4th temporarily so that his live-in girlfriend, who was then an Emory Uni,